these accusations very disturbing to parents and students, but how do you talk to your kids about this? A lot of parents wondering that. Well, we spoke with local experts. Eric Hedekos joining us with some important advice for parents and guardians. Good morning, Eric Hedda. Good morning, Leah. Well, we spoke to the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children, who absolutely plays a role in these types of situations. They help educate, make referrals for intervention and recovery efforts in situations like this. I spoke to the executive director of the center location here in Rochester, uh, Ed Souk, who says if you are a parent out there wondering if this is the opportunity to talk to your child about detecting abuse, now is certainly the time. He says a good way to ease into it is focusing on safety and general. General. Start with bike safety, fire safety, and that can help open the door to what's inappropriate and what's not when it comes to contact with other adults. He also mentioned the importance of talking about safe adults in a child's life. Who are the adults they can come to and talk to if something is making them uncomfortable or seems inappropriate? If an abuser is someone the child tr trusts and respects, it's going to be harder for them to step forward to these safe adults. When children have been uh, sexually victimized, uh, one of the first issues that they deal with is trust. Uh, you know, it's, it's typically a trusted adult or someone they have seen in a trusted adult role, uh, in this case, like a, a, a principal. Uh, it really rocks their sense of security. Uh, there is almost universally a, a form of secrecy that's put into place by the offender uh, to get the child not to say anything about the victimization. Suk says this is when a situation can be especially daunting in the eyes of a child, and that's why clinical intervention is super important. And of course, the National Center plays a role in making those uh, referrals for experts and well-trained professionals in the area that can certainly help with these children. For now, live in Greece, Eric had a cost, News 8. Yeah, uh, some very important advice there. Eric had a thank you for that. For more on this story, all the details and more on that advice from experts, we have everything for you at rochesterfirst.com.